So good in the Gulf of Mexico, though. All right, the next uh, advisory is about to come out. This is the 4 a.m. advisory. Winds were 110 miles per hour. When the next advisory comes out, I'm sure that this is going to increase, maybe even up to 120 miles per hour. Looks very impressive on satellite imagery. Got a real well-defined eye. You've got some really nice purple here, which is cl cold cloud tops. A lot of thunderstorm action around the eye, so very healthy situation. Plus, you've got a nice evacuation. Look at that, how it kind of spreads out. So this is going to be in the rapid intensification phase as it moves towards the coast winds at about 15 miles per hour. And by the way, there are hurricane warnings in effect for the upper Texas coast and also for southwest Louisiana. All right, so these are the dynamic plots. Lots of computer models here. I put about 20 of the ones that I like, and they're pretty much all in agreement. Look at how tightly packed they all are. By the way, the National Hurricane Center says that this will increase to a category four hurricane later on this afternoon, and I would tend to agree with that given the warm waters and also the upper level environment looks really nice and look at how tightly packed all these computer models are. So upper Texas coast, southwest Louisiana as a bottom category four or a top of the line category three is going to pack a punch, probably even greater than Hurricane Rita, uh, if you can imagine that. Now there will be a little shear here at the very end, so I think the strongest winds will likely be across the north in the eastern section of that eye wall pretty much close to Lake Charles if this track verifies. All right, so let's take a look. What does that mean for wind speeds? I think the winds could gust up to 120 around Port Arthur, maybe as high as 125 in Lake Charles. Houston, though, if you know family there, winds won't be anywhere near as strong. What does that mean for us? Well, I think we will see just some isolated scattered showers. Definitely possible. Maybe a 20% chance. High temperatures this afternoon will be in the upper 90s. Noon and around 92. High today, 99. And next couple of days, slight chances for rain. I do think it's going to be hot, though. 100 to 102. And slight chances for rain into next week. And hot temperatures, Barry.